In this video, I'm going to be going over a few pros and cons of living in Satterton, Pennsylvania. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Doug Bear here, the Philly Suburb Realtor with eXp Realty. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know what it's like to live, work, and play in the suburbs of Philly, PA, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video each week. My team and I are helping people just like you every single day who are wanting to make the move to one of Philly's amazing suburbs. So if you're trying to do that and you don't know where to start, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. We're here to help make the move as smooth as possible for you. So if you're looking at Satterton, Pennsylvania, here are three pros and cons of what it's like living here. Pro number one, location. Souderton is about halfway between Philadelphia and the Lehigh Valley area. There are plenty of job opportunities just within a 45 minute drive either direction. And there's plenty of things to do with your family and friends and a lot of activities that are around the area as well. With me being a big Flyers fan, it's perfect because it's just a 45 minute drive down to Philadelphia to the Wells Fargo Center to catch a Flyers game and then about the same distance up to Lehigh Valley to catch the Phantoms. Aside from being about halfway between Philadelphia and Lehigh Valley, there are plenty of things to do right within Souderton and the surrounding cities. If you love the outdoors, just like I do, there are plenty of things to do in terms of hiking, fishing, hunting, kayaking, you name it, with uh, Peace Valley Park and Lake Nakamixon within about a 20 minute drive each direction. Con number one, cost of living. According to the National Cost of Living Index, Souderton ranked about 1.5% above the national average. There really were only three areas where Souderton ranked above the national average. Utilities were about 3.6% above the national average, and miscellaneous cost was about 12% higher than the national average. And miscellaneous will include things like clothing, entertainment, retail, repairs, and restaurants. Although housing, transportation, and health all fell below the national average. Pro number two, community. Souderton does a really awesome job of planning events and doing things that really benefit the community and giving everybody that lives there things to do. One of my favorite events that they do every, every summer is Third Fridays. Every third Friday throughout the summer, they have vendors and food trucks and live music line the, the main street in Souderton. Everybody goes out, has a good time, interacts with the vendors. If you do make it out to one of Souderton's third Fridays, you'll probably end up seeing me set up there with my table. Make sure to stop by and say hi if you do. Souderton has an annual Christmas parade that goes right through Main Street as well and all the way up Broad Street and it has a lot of the local businesses have floats made up for themselves and everybody lines the street. And of course, they always end the parade with Santa going through. The local fire department also has Santa Claus riding around on one of the fire trucks every single year and they throw out candy for all the kids that come out and see and just want to see Santa Claus. You also definitely want to make sure you come check out Sundays at the Park. Sundays at the Park is where they have ice cream sundaes and live music at the Pavilion and Satterton's Park. It's a really good time. A lot of people come out and just enjoy hanging out and listening to good music. Con number two, the weather. The weather in Souderton, specifically in springtime, does not always make sense. Actually, it could really be applied to the entire state. Just this past week in the end of May, it went from 90s and sunny to four days later, went to 50s and cloudy. And now this next week, it's up to the mid 70s and 80s again. It's not uncommon to have the AC running one week and have to throw the heat back on a couple days later. Usually starting about mid-June, it'll stop the drastic change in weather and stay anywhere from 80 to 90 throughout the summer. Pro number three, school district. Being a Sowerton graduate myself, I can tell you firsthand that it's a great school, great district, and I had a great experience of my time there. Back in 2009, Souderton actually got a massive facilities upgrade when it finished building their new school. Just like a lot of the other school districts in Montgomery County, Souderton has plenty of things to do in terms of extracurricular activities as well as awesome athletics. According to Niche.com again, Souderton earned A's in almost every category. Con number three, it's not a whole lot of nightlife. 
Well, there are plenty of things to do in about a 20 to 30 minute drive. There's not a whole lot of nightlife or entertainment in, in the town of Souderton. There's just one movie theater, which is the Broad Street Theater, and actually just got a major upgrade and it looks awesome now. And then you'll have the Montgomery Theater, which has plays, musicals, comedy shows, all those things. But really, in terms of nightlife, there's really not a whole lot of things aside from those two options and then just going out to eat at one of the restaurants here. In the description below, you'll find a couple helpful links of things to do around Souderton and the surrounding areas. And again, my team and I are helping people just like you every single day who are looking to make the move to one of Philly's amazing suburbs. So if you don't know where to start, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love to help you out.